Here's the McManus tweet from Tuesday. He said, reviewing the Eagles' D versus Chargers, D-line is generally not to blame. Herbert was getting the ball out in 2.46 seconds on average, fifth fastest among QBs in Week 9. Gannon did blitz close to 30% of the time, but coverage remains soft underneath. So 30%. Third, okay. Close to 30% when, when you're on average, what, 15%? have beat every team in the a NFC East this year. They have? Yeah, they're 3-0. and Wow. They just come off a 10-and-a-half-point road dog obliteration of the Cowboys. Yeah. They're back yeah, but home. it stops right now. It no stops way. this weekend. No, 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 no. Books no. have it less than three. It opened yeah. up less than three. You get three points just for being at home. It's like the 300 points you get just for getting your name right on the SATs. Mm. And the books aren't even giving the Broncos a full three. I don't so, buy it. So what are you saying? The Eagles won it, right? That's what they want you to think. That's what they want us to think. Teddy Bridgewater is a high percentage completion quarterback against good teams. Can you imagine what he's going to be like against the Eagles? Harry, if if I gave – all right, let's look at this. What's a good over-under just to begin with? And a what I mean by rate. this – What's that? Yes. Oh, completion rate. For, for I knew you were about to say it. Yeah. You knew it. You knew it. Yeah. If I said 85, that's too low. Five yep. guys have already thrown for mm. 80 plus. And to Harry's point, Bridgewater is dead accurate from short mid range. Yeah. 93 and a half percent. Would you I go just, you under know, or over? I'd have to go under that. I would go under that. But yeah. I'm going to tell you this, though. What? I just did what a was marathon Herbert? on it, man. Yeah, but Herbert's a stud. Bridgewater doesn't throw that much downfield. And when he does, it's it's like. Uh, two passes all game, but the difference the difference between incredible. the difference between what you saw Coming. last week's defense and this week's defense is Gannon. He'll probably perceive this this offense and in, in those wide receivers or or as average receivers. He didn't think of he didn't think of the Chargers like they were average. He thought they were above average in the quarterback. You know, so he he's going to game plan and be more aggressive this game because. He probably doesn't believe in those receivers being able to beat his guys. So mm. he's going to have a totally different mindset. Has he watched him play? You've got Jerry pretty good. is back. Cortland Sutton can get Sutton. downfield. Tim Patrick has Patrick's evolved. Patrick's good. Now. What do you mean no. they suck? No, they're about good. Denver sucks. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, no, he, their receivers are pretty good. Yeah, they've got a decent trio, Barrett. So and they're missing the, case, the kid. We don't from... have a snowball's chance in hell of stopping them, especially on pre snap reads. Because their pre snap reads is. Okay, they Denver get to the team? line. Yeah, it, any quarterback plays our defense. They get to the line. Oh, all right. He's 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 he has a five yard cushion. All right, he has a seven yard cushion. Oh, look over here. There's a thirteen yard cushion on that side on the right side. All right, I'm just gonna pull up. I'm gonna snap it, pull up, and I'm just gonna throw it to the thirteen yard cushion, and that'll be ten yards, and we'll have a first down. But the tight end is exactly good too. That read is. Strawberry right. Fanta. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. If he's good. healthy. And right. here's the thing. They've got two decent running backs that they're mm -hmm. not going to move away from by any means. The defense did. Everybody thought they were giving up on defense because they traded Von Miller. Fact is that D is pretty good. Yeah. And they've got a lot of injuries too. And they, they, they're still playing pretty high level on defense. It's the well, typical bend, but don't break in the sense of they just don't give up points. Dallas, like they don't give up points. Dallas went out there like, all right, we're we're Dallas and we're just gonna win this game. Sure, that's why that. that's why they Mac went and got terrible. their ass kicked. I they get that. Yeah, they just. And look, they, I'm sorry. No, I'm just saying they just they went out there with that type of attitude. All right, we're the big bad Dallas. You know, we're just gonna beat you. There it is. Well, you can't think like that. So that's why they got beat, and they ne they weren't able to turn it on. Absolutely. After they were getting beat. But, yeah, that that line was insane. I mean, it was ten and a half, and, and, and ten and a half. Yeah, and it reflected it, ref, and the, it reflected that mentality. You're right. But here's the thing, Barrett. Let me th let me throw it right back at you, though. The one time we saw the Eagles take advantage of those circumstances where they're just not good enough to take a team lightly was against Detroit. And to your point, the Philadelphia Eagles came out and they hammered the Detroit Lions because unlike everybody else, they can't afford to take them lightly. I'm with you. I don't think they come in and take Denver lightly. I just don't think they're good enough to beat Denver. That's on the my, road. That's, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying because I agree with you. From a talent aspect, we From don't have the horses. And, and, and we don't have the horses in a race. 
I would tend to believe that, but I don't think their horses are in the race either. Their offensive line sucks, but they're good enough when you when there's one, two, three, and the ball's out of his hands. And that's what we're he holds on to the ball though, like longer than most quarterbacks, according to the PFF stats. Yeah. That means we have a fighting chance then. Yeah, but if they don't saw, blitz. What they didn't have to blitz. blitz. They, they had to blitz last week they against blitzed Herbert. Last week. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. They didn't put any pressure on Herbert. Well, they well, didn't get the pressure, pressure, but they blitzed. Well, that's because they didn't. They couldn't get there because the ball was out of his hands so fast. Uh, how you many times? Play they, coverage. How many times were they sending a line? Uh, how many times do you think of of the pressure that came on Herbert? It was with an extra pass rusher. There was no pressure because he got the ball in his hands too fast. They just didn't. They just didn't give him opportunity to use the blitz or use the pass rush moves because the ball was out of his hands. A like one, two, three, boom, balls are on my hands because we're playing so daggone far back yeah. from the um, wide receiver. Trust uh, me what I say, man. Trust me what I say. Here's like, the thing. Here's the thing, though. Are they going to change? Have, no. It, even if they don't, it doesn't. It's moot because you have a quarterback to what you brought up that has a poor offensive line, yet he's still, the quarterback himself, is still insanely accurate, especially from where he's throwing the football. So what what's what's trumping the other? Is it Teddy Bridgewater is outplaying the line, or is the pressure that's on Bridgewater not as existent as maybe made out to be? I, I think it's the, um, the latter part of the two. Here's the Tim McManus He got tweet. beat up the other day. From, yeah, he did. He got hit. You're right. He got hit. Here's the McManus tweet from Tuesday. He said, reviewing the Eagles D versus Chargers, D line is generally not to blame. Herbert was getting the ball out in 2.46 seconds on average, fifth fastest among QBs in week nine. Gannon did blitz close to 30% of the time, but coverage remains soft underneath. So 30%. Third, okay. Close to 30% when, when you're on average, what, 15%? Probably yeah. like that. So, yes, in a small spectrum of glimpse here, he was blitzing more than he's had, but still wasn't able to put anything on Herbert mm -hmm. and at 30% was capped. That's all. You're right. You're right. But so, it still doesn't change the fact that, that until conceptually, they play tighter on these wide receivers and trust the talent you have at the cornerback position. Blitzing, pressure on the quarterback will be a moot point. How fast are guys? I don't know if you have it here, Harry. What's that? But like you said, 2.9 seconds. And Barrett's saying, all right, you can counter that by trusting Slay, Nelson, I think to a lesser extent, but still Nelson. To, to man up physically, either jam or just take advantage of tighter coverage, right? As opposed to what he's been doing. Mm -hmm. Just tighter and coverage. Just tighter yeah. coverage. How fast are the slowest guys getting the ball out? Because I wonder if we're talking about something that's hair splitting versus something that, like if Teddy Bridgewater is taking 4.9 seconds to get rid of the football, that's two full seconds. That's All a, right, that's here a, it is. That's a sack. This, is, uh, this is from Kemsky. Bridgewater gets the ball out from snap to throw in 2.92 seconds, which is the seventh slowest time in the NFL. Yeah. So think about that. All right. On one hand, we have Bridgewater got it out 2.9.2.92 seconds, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the seventh slowest in the NFL. Right. But we just heard from McManus that the 2.46 for, for Herbert. Herbert was what? The fourth or fifth. fastest. Fifth, fifth fastest, fastest in last week. Correct. So look at the difference between something that's low in the league versus something that was top five. We're talking about 0.5 seconds right mm -hmm. here. Point it's a five split second. Yeah. Split second. Right. Yeah. Now, Barrett will tell you that that's the difference between a hand on a quarterback and a guy on his ground. I, I understand that. And I'm not negating it or even saying that it doesn't mean anything. In fact, I'm heightening it because... I don't, it doesn't seem like it's hurting Bridgewater is my point. Yeah. Could well, be hurting other guys like Trevor Lawrence or Jalen Hurts or guys like that. It just doesn't feel like it's hurting Bridgewater. Yeah. Well, it, it is hurting them because the game before, I don't know who they played before. Was it the Saints? I know the game before that he got beat. I think he got hit like maybe 12 or 13 times. Gave him like four sacks. Who was that they were playing? 
Oh, they they were playing. Um, He's taken he twenty six sacks this season, which is See? third most in the NFL. That's that's a lot. And when you think about a guy holding the ball, usually it's, it's like two point three seconds as a good pass play to be you know a, to be a catch in the league. 2.2, 2.3. Once you get into like 3.2, three and a half. That's like you know, Carson Wentz. Right. Then you're just holding it way too long because right. it's, it's just, you know, you you have to put it, all right, put it in this perspective. There are guys that can run in four seconds, 40 yards. Mm-hmm. 4.3 seconds, 40 yards. That's hauling ass. That's a yeah. lot of, that's, that's a long right. way. Now, 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 you don't have that time. That's why you have to throw to a spot. Right, but see, I'm saying what I'm saying is, we're talking about a, an area that's only ten, ten yards, or he got sacked five four, yards four times the week prior against Washington football. There it Washington, is, there, right, it is, there yeah. it is, right there. That's what it was. Yeah. Now they won that game. Did they? They did. Not? They, yeah. did. they did. Seventeen to ten. Right at home. And look at their defense as far as how little they're giving up. And Brid- remember, Bridgewater was hurt as well mm-hmm. this year. Here's my here's my point in all of this. Is there anybody that's on the slower end of getting the ball out of their hands <laughs> that you would trust more than Teddy Bridgewater if they have to speed it up, right? Like Carson, why all of a sudden you go to Carson in the in the second and third quarter and say call plays and tighten up his drop, tighten up his progressions, ask him to get the ball out 0.6 seconds faster than he normally does. Right. That could crumble him. Yep. Like that, that could just right. melt. Teddy Bridgewater is so accurate, quick, and short throws that I don't see that adjustment at all for him to cut a half a second off. But Jonathan Gannon has to force him to do it, and I think that's what you were saying initially. What is he? All right, we got a break. Jeff Bruder, man. Oh Hold on before God. you put up Jeff Bruder, man. <laughs> Hold on. We'll, we'll, we'll hit. The, we'll have a minute or so before Bogus comes. Oh back. my God! I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, my God. Look, if you're not going to be paying attention, I'll exactly. put up my next show. Daytime was going through a whole dissertation yeah. there. I man. heard the dissertation. I'll, I'll listen to one more word. It was, it was great. I'm eating, I'm eating my sandwich. I'll Jesus. see you in three minutes. <laughs> 